Hey guys, still here and welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. Today it's time for another Naval Architect scenario. It's a Patreon tier that allows you to skip the whole waiting list and get your scenario featured pretty much in the same month. Now, this one was sent in by Kristen K. Oh, sorry, Tristan K. Hoyne. Captain, you're in command of the USS Massachusetts and her supporting ships. Your task is to protect the landing beaches of the Western Task Force. The naval threat is not known other than there is one, and it is the Jean Bart, and an unknown amount of supporting ships. This means that I'm going to be taking on the French. I'll have one battleship, they will also have one. I have two heavy cruisers, they have one. They have two light cruisers, and I don't get any. I have four DDs, and they get ten. Now, the important part here is that I'm in command of the Massachusetts, and that means I have to build the Massachusetts as exact as possible. It's a ship that is of the South Dakota design, and I'm going to try and do my best to see within the well, within the limitations of the game to see if I can get a design that's sort of similar. Um, the wind conditions, by the way, for this scenario, destroy the supporting fleet and damage the Jean Bart, aka the one French battleship, beyond repair, i.e. it has less than 10% structural integrity. I think at that point you might as well finish her off, but hey-ho. Now, the um, South Dakota class battleships, let's have a look. Let's get the stats outlined first, and this is already where we're going to start to run into trouble, at least somewhat. Because ideally I would use the modern battleship hull, but the South Dakota had a displacement um, at full load of 44,519 tons, and this thing starts at 45,000. Still, um, since I don't think it's a good idea to use a dreadnought hull for this. I'm gonna go with this hull. And let's just say that she is under full load. What else do I need to know about this ship? Well, she had uh, 130,000 shaft horsepower, and that was provided by electric steam turbines. So, um, whether that's electric or double geared steam turbines, I'm gonna say it's double geared because it makes it a bit easier to still get around the position or the, the let's say the armor layout that the ship is supposedly going to have. Maximum bulkheads, um, range of the ship was 15,000 nautical miles or 28,000 kilometers. I'm gonna say that's very long range. That will impact the amount of displacement a little bit, but as long as I use full oil burners, I should not have that much of a problem with it. Speed is set to 27 and a half knots. Now, um, the rest of the defenses, I'm not gonna go too heavy. There is, however, a severe destroyer threat. 10 destroyers. Let's say that they all have four torpedoes only, and that's a low estimate. That would put them at 40 torpedo launchers combined. It's a lot of firepower for one ship, or at least a lot of firepower for one ship to take. So ideally, try to keep this thing fairly maneuverable. And currently, she has a turning circle of 370. But I very much doubt that we can stay at that turning circle. All right, time for the layout. Massachusetts had nine 16 inch guns in an ABX format. So let's set the modern tower up as far, fo well, not as far forward. Let's go for the second notch and then go for the guns. Nine 16 inch guns. Those are not center lines. These are center line. 16, triple, triple, and one behind the secondary tower. Um, let's go for modern tower two to ensure a bit more accuracy. Oh, whoops. Didn't mean to delete you there. And that one goes there. And then she had 25 inch guns. That is a substantial amount of firepower. Uh, but it is actually pretty easily doable on this hull, I think. Because I can just go for one, two, three dual barrels, and that's already 12 of the um, 20 15-inch, uh, sorry, 5-inch guns that I need. Unfortunately, it doesn't really allow me to put them here or there. So I'll have to get a little creative about the other placement. I'm going to say it's over here and over there. And that's the 5-inch armament. Now, she also had seven quad 40 millimeter AA guns. And, and this is stuff that I really cannot actually be putting on the ship. She had 35 single 20 millimeter 0.8 inch guns, anti-air. 
Um, the smallest that would approximate that is two inch, but 35, no, it's, it's not really worth it. I don't think it's doable. Let's go for range finders as well. I'm probably gonna have a problem with how I'm gonna set this ship up by the way, because I don't even have a funnel yet. Yeah, I'm already over my maximum displacement. For weight offset is slightly. There we go, that's better. Now, to still put on uh, st the seven quad, one and a half inch guns, I'm not even sure if that's gonna really help me, considering that that would mean two inch guns. And if these things fire, I'm at 5.8 kilometer range. So sure, I'll add them, but I'm not really sure if it's going to actually be doing anything useful as a destroyer threat, for example. Now to sort of stick with the theme of seven quad 40 millimeter guns, I'm going to go with uh, triple two inch. I know it's a terrible approximation, but it's pretty much the best thing that I can get. She had seven and um, I think I might add a few more because it'd be one, two, three, and then I actually already have six out of seven. So I'm also gonna put them here on the secondary tower, but it feels light for an American ship. I could also put, well, single two inch guns to sort of signify that she had more, but is it really going to be useful? Probably not. Anyway, it's the design that Tristan wanted, so I'll try to uh, work it as best I can. That one over there. Uh, this one goes... Oh, hold on, one, two, three... Yeah, check. We already have the two-inch guns. So the rest of the gun positions are going to be filled in by these single two-inch guns. There, here... Not there, because it's too close to the turret. Can I move that? Are you happier now? Yeah, now you're happier. Perfect. Uh, I can put another one here. Like that. Now we have a small aft weight offset, but that's easy to fix. Turret emplacement there. Now it's actually a bit sad that the, the stern gun is supposed to be on the deck. Because if you could put this thing on a barbette, and you can, but I'm not going to do it to stick to the, let's say, the shape, the design of the ship as it was. Um, you could put a lot of secondaries around that. But I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to pull this turret a little bit closer. Propellant, let's go for high TNT so as not to blow the ship up. Um, enhanced loaders is the best I can figure because the rest of it is going to make the ship too heavy. Now, the turning circle is actually much, much better than I expected at just 358 meters. So if I can detect torpedoes early, that can be very useful. It's only a Hydrophone 3 station, but it just puts me one ton under <laughs> my maximum displacement. That means that I'm going to have a bit of a problem with the amount of armor that the ship supposedly had. She had six inches of deck armor, check. I'm not going to look at the armor quality. Six inches of deck armor, check. She had 18 inches on the turrets. Okay, uh, it seems steep, but I'll see if I can make it work. The barbettes had 17.3 inch, which is sort of signified by heavy barbette thickness. She had 16 inches on the conning tower. That's pretty much the easiest one to uh, figure into the design. She had 12 inches, or actually 12.2 inches of belt armor. Um, and it doesn't really say that much about belt extended. So now I have to find 700 tons somewhere. Um, that's going to save me 400 tons. It's not too bad. Torpedo blister to two. There we go. Then I can get an auxiliary engine. And ideally a better shaft. Oh, the shaft's not really that heavy. Look at that, 278 meter turning circle. Can I push that down even more? 274. 
If I would max it out, it would be 258. That's really impressive. 258 on a battleship? Something like she has a bow thruster of some sort. No, it's too heavy. I suppose loaders are also too heavy. Way, way too heavy. Advanced hydraulics is not an option. Better sonar system is not an option. Um, hmm. Could armor up the secondaries a bit more. There we go. Exactly, exactly 45,000 tons. Ship is named Massachusetts. Massachusetts. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> Massachusetts. There. All right. Um, I think it's a pretty decent design. Both trying to approximate the accuracy of the actual design of the, uh, the battleship. And on top of that, make it fairly playable in the game. Let's see what the French throw our way. What do you have? Oh no, that's a super battleship, isn't it? Look at the size of that monster. Is that a funnel? Look at that. That looks like a funnel in front of the... No. Are you kidding? What the fuck did you build now? Who puts a funnel in front of the bridge? The bridge crew is not going to see anything. What the hell? I know that they changed the designer recently. I think close or in Alpha 10. But seriously, who puts a funnel in front of the bridge? Let's suppose that we are the bridge. This is pretty much the bridge view, right? Hello, funnel. I can probably think of a few bridge officers who would be rather unhappy about this particular design. How did this thing make it to sea trials? <laughs> and then this turret emplacement is not being used. What the hell? And I thought I built poor ships. No, the AI can always do worse. Still, it might prove to be a successful design. I don't know. Let's just see. What sort of cruiser do you have? Um, looks to have 12 7-inch guns. Okay, and torpedo launchers. Quite a few. There and there. Over here. Destroy... Holy shit! Is that enough torpedo launchers for you? 5, 10, 15 per... No, not even. 18. That's 180 torpedoes that the enemy fleet can drop into the water at any one given time. And that's not even counting the heavy cruiser. Holy shit. You must be the light cruiser. 7 inch guns, just the 12 of them, no secondaries. Low threat. Good lord, that thing is a menace. Massa, we're going to turn to starboard. What do we have? These are the heavy cruisers Los Angeles and Northampton. Minimum bulkheads. Death wish confirmed. 8 inch guns. 4 inch gun secondaries. 3 inch gun secondaries. 2 inch. A single 2 inch. And 3 torpedo launchers port and starboard fast at 9.9 .9 clicks. Alright. Light cruiser. No, sorry. Destroyers. We have the destroyers Gearing, Mori, Halsey, Powell and Harry W. Hill. A few bulkheads. 49 null torpedoes at 22 kilometer range. All right, you guys get to join Division 3. So everybody follows the gearing. And we're not going to torp just yet. I first want to have everybody in position. The Massa is going to turn this way. I hope that their fleet will also turn that way and then I can sort of cross torp them with the DDs. I really hope to inflict a bunch of damage on that battleship early. Because I really don't need attention from those 14-inch guns. 
I really, really don't. 3.6% chance to hit already. Pretty good. Ooh, that came awfully close to that ship. The Halsey Powell has gone undetected. Interesting. Range 18 clicks to the DDs. The battleship, however, is losing, or we're losing range to the battleship. With the gearing almost, so the Halsey Powell is definitely out of range. 24 clicks. Oh, I've already been hit. Stern Belt took a hit. Come on, Massachusetts. I'm gonna need you to do some damage against that French... Whatever the hell that is. There we go. I hit him, but it wasn't really that much damage. It was a partial pen for a mere 17 points. Okay, the gearing has been detected. I'm going to keep the heavy cruisers relatively close. Because I want those guys around to defend my ship against smaller, sh uh, smaller threats. Range 19, but they're heading away. My ships are probably not eager to launch their torps, but there are so many targets here. Maybe I shouldn't even torp the battleship, I should torp anything else. Alright, let's start setting up targets. Gearing. Target. Harry. Target. Halsey. Target. Mori. Target. If you use shift and control and then right click, you can set your torpedo launchers per one target. So that's the way that I'm using currently to engage various different threats with all the various different DDs that I have. I just want to try and get all the torpedoes out from all the ships at the same time. I don't, however, know if that's useful. Hold on. You detected torpedoes? Shit, the Halsey Powell already launched her salvo at some point. Probably early in the battle. I really don't have that many torps to start with, so I really don't appreciate that little bit of initiative. Here, here, and the third one's probably over there. I need to speed up identification on the DDs, if I, co if I could, that is, to figure out what sort of torps they could be flinging my way. Warship has detected torpedoes. Yeah, okay. 88%. My DDs in a firing position. Pretty much. Open up. Come on, destroyers. What you got? 79%, no. 99, I'll take it. What you got? Shit. They torped. Range 21-7, sneaky things as well. They torped the battleship. Massachusetts is going to have to do a pretty sharp turn to port. Shouldn't be a problem at 27 knots with her fairly decent turning circle. I mean, exceptionally good turning circle. I'm also trying to get a bit closer, so my 5-inch guns might be able to at least threaten their destroyers, if nothing else. Come on, buddy. The Mori has detected... To Whoa! Oh, shit. Look at that. That's a lot of torpedoes. I can ensure you that they were not planning anything friendly. Jesus Christ. Um, the only way that the Los Angeles can get out of that one is to turn right into it. That way, but sharper. Uh, Northampton? Same deal, full starboard turn. Good lord, I'm happy that I turned with the Massachusetts. Or she could have been toast. Uh-oh. 
This is looking particularly interesting now, the reverse button, because if these take a hit, they're pretty much dead. I'm going to have to take this one and then try to avoid the others. If I can turn the Los Angeles harder to port, I might be able to throw the ship between these two. Come on. Yeah, got him. Fuck, there's more. Oh, there's more. Sonar? Three. That's currently probably going to save the ship. Unless... Unless... I cannot turn fast enough. Now, my DDs are not torping yet. Despite my best efforts. Come on. There's more. You know what? I'm going to turn again. I'm going to zigzag. Because the Massachusetts is too big of a target. She does have somewhat of a torpedo blister, but it's really not that good. It's only anti-torp 2. LA just dodged another salvo. This seems to be an afterthought. Just three more. Gearing, I'm gonna have to need or I'm gonna need you to turn. Battleship range. 21 clicks. This is the Couronne. 14 inch guns, maximum bulkheads, anti-flood 2, anti-torp 1. Crypt 2 armor. That's interesting. Because Krupp 2 is really not that good. Unfortunately, my chances to hit these ships are pretty bad. Oh, there's more. Los Angeles is going to get an award for torpedo dodging. DDs that way, quickly now. Now, detach the whole division. Turn, 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 and turn. Get away from those torpedoes. Now, is there anything else that I can hit with the battleship? Because I'm currently not doing any kind of damage. I've inflicted some hits. But I'm going to need a lot more than that. I've got the uh, Entre Casteaux over here with the 7-inch guns. Trying to deal damage against the destroyer. Okay, Northampton can't turn yet because there's still more torps. This just goes to show how dangerous torpedoes can be as just a sheer area of denial weapon. Because they're completely breaking up my formations and keeping me very busy with trying to dodge everything. So well played to them. Now, can I... I could try and torpedo them in return. But they have... 18 launchers per destroyer, and I don't have even half that. Los Angeles, still alive. Now, these guys, they once again torpedoed the battleship. Massachusetts, we're going to turn again. 16 inch shell against the battleship. Yeah, that's been a while ago. Uh, DDs all smoke up if you haven't already. Harry, follow the gearing. Uh, you are... Hold on, you're now f Div 4. Div 6, follow Div 4. Div 5, follow Div 4. Destroy division reestablished. Good. Ah, screw it. We're just going to torp this guy. Just various different DDs, various different angles, it might work. Los Angeles, this way. Uh, Massachusetts. Slight turn, Northampton come back. Follow the Massa again. Range the DD, 12. That's out of range, I need 11.6. Couron, no hits. So it's probably going to be a pretty extended battle. It's going to take me a while to do more damage. I'm going to keep a very close eye on the report here. Any torpedo that gets spotted immediately deserves my attention. It's 
status. Those triple launchers are almost empty, but those quintuples are not. Not at all. Gearing, Hill, Halsey. Oh, we have a hit on the Tonkinua. Could we gunboat these things? Possibly. Possibly. How many guns do you have? Because with all those torpedo launchers, you must have sacrificed something. Mm, not even. That's four triple four-inch guns. Substantial. Hmm. Not a fan. Bambara is going to torpedo me again. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. Massachusetts. Turn away. It's just one of those triples. But there's no telling how many more there could be on the way. Los Angeles, turn bow in. She's already done a decent portion of damage. Especially against a destroyer. That can ramp up pretty quick. Bambara. Just torpedoed the battleship. Massachusetts, hard to starboard. Los Angeles, we're going to... Screen for the battleship. And so far as you're <coughs> capable of doing just that. I don't really dare close in on these DDs so long as they have torpedoes. Because it's very, very risky. Shit. Another salvo. Uh, LA. Manual control. Don't screen. 13 6. 13. Good. Northampton? No, nope, that's the Massa. Northampton. Should be fine, although this one could be a problem. DDs? Torpedoes away from gearing. Well, that took you long enough. Tonkinua is taking some damage. She's out of triples. But she still has some quintuple launchers. Although, it looks like she might flood very soon. That'd be ideal. Just flutter out. Range. 12-2. Still too far. Couron. Still 87%. LA. Jesus. They're really keeping me on my toes here. Northampton. Yeah, you've passed. Uh, follow the LA. DDs are opening up. Currently trying to take down the Tonkinua. Whoa, 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 whoa. Where did that come from? Here? Damn. I would really like to know how many torpedoes I have dodged. Arabe has launched and spent all of her torpedoes, at least for the triples. The quintuples also just launched. So, Massa, guess what? We're going to turn again. Couron, good hit. Feels like I'm just spending the entire game dodging torpedoes. I don't like these smoke screens at all. We're going to do something about that right now. Massachusetts detected torpedoes. Whoa. Tonkinua is still here. Give me the secondaries on the Tonkinua. Before she completely pumps out all the water. I liked her better when she was flooding. Gearing. Hello, boys. Oh, dear. Yeah, they're torping the DD group. <sighs> Loads of them, too. Engage the Kabyle. And then the Cimeterre. Destroyed the main gun. Well, that's a terrible start. Could have been worse, I suppose. 
could have been a complete destruction of the turret with the turret popping off. That's a good start. Let's not use torpedoes as the gearing is still reloading. Get rid of these DDs. Kabil has some flooding issues. Now she has some fire issues. Come on. Just one or two more holes in the hull and you got her. More fire. Is she even returning fire? No, she's not. More flooding, very good. Keep it up. Status here, Massa. Still not seeing torpedoes. That's kind of the problem with those 21 kilometer things, you don't see them at all. 13 clicks out from the battleship. We're gonna do a almost full turn. There goes the Kabil. Well done, gearing group. Next target, Cimeter. Cimeter already spent her torpedoes on an attack against the DD group and failed. So she really doesn't have that much more. There goes the Tonkinois, finally. Harry, torpedo if you can. Or actually, no, we don't need to. She's already going down very quickly. Gearing is taking too much damage and will fall back. More flooding on the cimetière. Destroyed. Whoa! Status. A DD torpedo hit the Northampton. Crap. At least I'm spreading out the damage between both of my ships. Yeah, there's another salvo that we narrowly avoided. What are you guys working on? That destroyer over there. Alright. DDs, you have done an admirable job. I now need you to chase the after or chase the rest of the group here. Northampton, take the torpedoes. You don't say where? No idea. Massa is on fire. Not as badly as the Couronne is. I feel like the Massa is doing far better against the Couronne than the other way around. Almost 80% chance to pen. In reverse, that's 40%. But they're keeping me on my toes with torpedoes, and I cannot do that in kind. Bambara is almost ready to launch another 15 spread. I'm going to turn into that ship. Presenting a very sleek profile, hopefully. And dodging everything she launches. At least then that destroyer is no longer as much of a threat. Flooding! Very good. Can we flutter before she launches? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. 18%, 20%. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Fortunately, she still hasn't launched, but I'm not getting any more hits on her. Gearing group is inbound. Range is eight and a half. I'll have very little time to respond. Heart support. Keep zigzagging because it's not the only DD that we're facing here. So we also got the Fantasin over here. Could be a problem. Because she still hasn't launched a single torp. She seems to be really cozy with the uh, Entrecasteau over here. Sorry, D'Entrecasteau. Come on. Fire. I don't need fires, I need floodings. That's gonna kill these DDs really quick. Floodings. So stop burning it down and start killing it with, well, not with fire, but with water, ironically. Range 15 clicks. It's gonna take the DDs a long time to catch up. Bambara, back to 79% buoyancy. Train the main guns of the Massachusetts on the Bambara. This one's not launching. That one might have launched. Bambara. 
706 damage. She's toast. No? Yes. Okay. Yeah, she is. That was a 16-inch hit. Now the other one. Fantassin. Still hasn't launched a single torpedo. If it's up to me, she'll never launch another torpedo. And at this range, I am pretty accurate with those 18 inch, or sorry, 16 inch guns. So I might just sink this thing. Nope, she already twerped. Before she drops a single one. Ideally, she would not get the opportunity to launch the 15. She already launched the 3. Come on, 10% chance to hit. Oh. DD group. 14 clicks. 13 and a half to that one. Okay, keep going. Flooding. Shit, she just launched her torps. Full starboard turn. Heavy cruisers, get away from here. Ah, oh, I was really hoping to prevent that situation. This is such a torpedo beat scenario. Come on. There we are. 116 in shell. Done. Perfect. That is starting to thin the number of DDs quite a bit. Arab is no longer a problem. There's the torpedo salvo. Or at least a torpedo, not necessarily the whole salvo. There's another. Northampton. Oh god, you have a damaged rudder. This is a really terrible time to figure that out. Slow down to maximum. 17 knots. 13. Ooh. Drop anchor. Oh. Northampton stopped. <laughs> Fully stopped. All right, I had half. That DD's 5% chance to hit, that's pretty terrible. Let's blow up a light cruiser. Or actually, let's blow up a heavy cruiser and use the lights, the secondary guns to take down the uh, Dantra Is that DD over there? Oh, are you trying to make a third DD? Kersan and Hova are engaged in um, extracurricular activities, shall we say? Reason why I'm targeting this... Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa! Hold on. I'll finish my sentence in a minute. Massa, you're gonna get hit. 235. What are you firing? 22 inch? 20 inch. That's what you get if you don't really take a large torpedo blister. <sighs> Lovely. Alright, smoke up. We have a heavy cruiser engaging. Entirety of the group. Torpedo when ready. Hmm. There's another DD there. Fagnon. Hmm. Not too happy to see that one. Gearing is too badly damaged. I don't think we can hit the Fagnon at this range, but I'll try. Let's... Refocus our efforts on the courant. Just ignore the heavy, uh, oh, sorry, the battleship for now. That slowdown by the Northampton and the dodging earlier on by the Los Angeles. Really well done. Chance to hit, 35%. Oof. I'm s exposing too much broadside now. Couron, what's your chance to pen me now? 
28? Oh. Alright. Alright, Massa, I expect results. Fire and flooding. Results were had. These light cruisers, more of a nuisance to my destroyers than a threat to my battleship. Oh shit. Not a small nuisance too. The Harry is pretty much toast. Whoops. No, 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 no. Get the hell out of here. Um, torpedo the battleship, if at all possible. Harry, get out of here. Retreat. That was a really bad hit. What can, what got you? Seven inch. Mid belt, full pen. So not just a bit of a nuisance then, huh? What I find problematic is that my heavy cruisers are starting to run out of main gun ammo. That is really problematic. Now there's still quite a lot of work to be done. Because I might have sunk some destroyers and damaged the Couronne. But I need to ensure that the Couronne has less than 10% structural integrity. And... Oh crap, the Halsey is also too damaged. Alright, entire destroy group, just retreat. Um, I need to ensure that the enemy battleship is less than 10% and destroy the entirety of the supporting fleet. That's still a lot of work. Especially considering that the Massachusetts is once again under torpedo attack. Los Angeles is about to fire the last of her 8-inch MO. Northampton 2. Uh, just engage the light cruiser with the last several shells that you have. Full turn with the Massa. It's going to completely throw off my aim on the Kuron. But it also throws off the aim of any torpedoes which were sent. I'm trying to have the Los Angeles chase down the Arab. I don't know if she's capable of doing it. But the Arab is no longer a torpedo threat. This one is. And the Dug is armed and ready. Consider armed and extremely dangerous. Damage to the main gun. Very good. Now hit it again and make it go pop. Kuron, two damaged engines. Good work. Secondaries on the Courville, please. Ova, torpedoed the battleship. Fagnon, not so much, probably. And then we have the uh, Kersin over there, which still has all of her torps. Kuron is starting to get pretty badly damaged. Slowed down. Flooding. Might be killed off soon. It looks like I might have to use either torpedoes or something smaller, like 4, 3, and 2 inch against the destroyer here. You know what? You're going to intercept the dug. Oh, not a moment too soon because she just launched torps. Uh, Northampton. I need you to fall back a little. Another good hit there. Light cruisers don't really seem overly impressed with my 5 inch armor, or 5 inch uh, armament. The secondaries are not doing as much as I'd hoped. Chance to pen is going up really nicely. And down again. Ricochet chance increasing. Yeah, she's turning. Flooding on the Tourville. Fire on the Tourville. Let's have some fun. Main armament. Massachusetts, target Tourville. Range, 3.9 kilometers. Prepare to fire. 
Or rather, fire when ready. Again, she's not a threat. She only has 7-inch guns. She's going to start a few fires on my ship. She doesn't have torpedoes. The worst kind of damage that she could do is ram me. But I find that rather unlikely. Come on. Oh, she just happened to be turning. Alright. Now, in case you're wondering why high explosive, well, at this range, armor piercing would just go inside the ship one side, or go in the ship one side, outside the other. It really doesn't do that much. Unfortunately, she's at a pretty high angle, presenting a small profile. But one or two good shells and she's toast. There we go. It's one light cruiser out of the way. Next one. Already started a fire. Survivability on these things is pretty decent with many bulkheads, so flooding's probably not going to kill her. But a 16-inch shell will. I realize that I'm playing a dangerous game here at close or relatively close range against destroyers. Which are still pretty... What the fuck was that? Which are still pretty heavily armed with those torpedoes. Flooding. Stern battery ready? Apparently not so much. Hmm. There we go. Take a couple of pretty pictures. Come on, blow that thing away. Get rid of her. Damn nuisance of a ship. Piss off. There you go. That's going to give her cause for concern. Considering the whole bow's on fire. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's not, shall we? Let's not. Ooh, and we're not going to be able to dodge that. I should have dodged the other way. And I'm going to get one right on the bow. Yep. Ow. That was the damn heavy cruiser doing that. Or no, the heavy cruiser just launched. Alright, Massa hard to port. Yeah, see? That's the heavy cruiser. Main guns now targeting the heavy cruiser. I know I haven't finished off the Couron, but the Couron has ceased fire, so I'm temporarily ignoring her. Oh, shit. No. No. Structural's down to 40. How are my escorting ships doing? Northampton? Still trying to chase the Dog. Los Angeles? Same. How have you not hit anything? Are you really that inaccurate? That's pretty sad for a performance. Now, well, Deck Rousseau has taken some damage. Many bulkheads are keeping her afloat. I think another two or three salvos should finish her off. Ah. Need to get rid of the Couron. She's opened fire again. Now that she's close enough, she feels confident that she can hit me. She's not wrong about it. Come on. Missed. No more torps for the Fagnon, at least not for the triple launcher. Kersan just did launch her torps. Full turn. Just keep dodging. Yep, there's another torp. That's a triple salvo. The third's probably right there. I am wise to your tricks now, buddy. I know what you're up to. Keeping the guns on target with the Massa is tricky, considering the wild maneuvers that I'm putting the ship through. Secondaries on Carson. Open the distance a bit. Because I'm really not too happy about that thing being so close. Beautiful. Some really good hits there. 
What are these, Mark Fives? Mark Threes. Huh. All right, hard to starboard. The Hova just launched. Or would the French pronounce that as Ova? I don't know. Oh, shit. I forgot about my heavies. Let me guess. You ate a mouthful of Torps. Yes, you did. All right. AI take control. I have some uh, more pressing concerns. Because the Massa is by far my most potent weapon. Look at the amount of damage. 13,000 damage out of 14,000 damage done by the Massachusetts. Bow turrets. Still turning. Did you shut up again? Yeah, she stopped firing. Alright. Good. Flooding. Structural down to 17%. Tough, dis or sorry, tough battleship, this thing. Output of damage was only 328, though. I suppose most? Yeah, most came from the torpedoes. Another flooding hit. How are you doing? Those are 16-inch holes on the side of the hull. Jesus. That thing is in really poor shape. Just as I like it. Let's add some more damage. In the meanwhile, have we spotted any more torps? Have any more of these ships launched? Hova might have. Let's do another zigzag. Damage to the funnel and more fire, but no structural... Yep, there we go. Hova ran out. Fagnon ran out. Missed. Whoa! That was close. Fagnon, no longer a threat. Just gotta dodge whatever she still has in the water. Hova, same. Kersan. Hold on, the Kersan launched against the heavy cruiser? That's interesting. So you consider the Northampton to be a bigger threat than the Massachusetts? That's unexpected. Where are you going? Fuck's sake. I was hoping that the AI would use the ship in a fairly aggressive manner and continue in to steam against the destroyers. That is in fact not what she's doing. The AI, in all of its wisdom, decided to pull the ship out. And decided it was a perfectly good time to retreat. Structural, the 12. Come on. How heavily angled are you? Pretty heavily angled. 62 degrees. I still have enough ammo to finish this fight. There we go. Fire. She's down to 11%. If you could hold on for one moment. I think we need to put the Northampton through her paces again. Oh, they're all steaming the other way. And there's still something over here. Out there in the distance. I'm not going to try and chase that down. I just need to sink whatever's left of the French fleet here. Flooding against Hova, flooding against Couronne. Damage down to, or structural down to 8%, which completes that win condition. Oh, crap. She still has torpedoes. Another flooding, 7% and 10% buoyancy. She's going down fairly quickly. Come on, Hova. Flooded. Well done. Next target, Kersan. I'm going to try and pincer the DDs between the Massa and the Northampton. 8%. Jeez, I'm really going to have to whittle this thing down by structural. Normally I just flood them, but that's not going to be possible here. 
37% chance to pen? No, it's not. There we go. Flash fire for good measure. New target, Valdek Rousseau, because she still has torpedoes. Chance to pen, 90%. And there we are. Two fires. Keep a real close eye on what she does with her torpedo launchers. Another couple of very, very deadly hits to that ship. Midship appears to be on fire. Well, was on fire. <sighs> Range 4-9. Why are you not launching? I'd rather have you actually launch than not launch. Speaking of. Um... Yeah. Another hit, 75 damage. Turn, buddy. Turn. Well done. Still no launch. Kersan, however, could be launching any moment. Massa, target Kersan. Well, Deck Rousseau just launched. Hard to port. Very good hits. But not a kill. And she already launched her torp, so the damage, in a way, is already done. Get out of here. No, I'm gonna have to take these head on. We're gonna have to take a zigzag again. The problem with torpedo beating is that you cannot dodge everything. Oh, that was too even. And here comes more. Which, again, I'm going to be right in the middle of. Where am I? Well, that one's going to scrape the paint off the hull. Holy shit. Look at that. Yeah, this is fine. Don't worry about it. This is fine. Could this thing finally sink, please? Carson has sunk. Lovely. But that heavy cruiser once again dropped a set of torpedoes at me. You just can't keep doing that. Because at some point there is not going to be a Massachusetts anymore. One hit. Damn it. Kill. Thank you. Was that so hard? Full HE salvo, right to the flank. Range, 2.8 clicks. Alright. So Fagnon is the last thing that I'm going to kill. I know that there are till, still two or three DD slimping around. But with a very heavily damaged battleship... And a fairly damaged heavy cruiser, which is out of ammo. I'm not going to try and chase them down. I'd say the Massachusetts has been through enough. I'm going to call victory on this one. Massachusetts fought very, very well. Out of the 22,000 damage that was done, almost all of it came out of the Massa. Almost all of it. There's the other DD. The Doug. So, I'm going to proclaim victory here. Massachusetts might need a few weeks in dry dock. There are some uh, th some burn marks which still need to be painted over. And maybe some of the secondaries need a good look over because I'm not sure if they're all still functional. This 5-inch gun here looks a little bit worse for wear. But aside from those, well, those slight details, the ship has done very, very well. I hope you guys were satisfied with the approximation of my design. If you were, then please subscribe to the channel, give a video or give the video a like, and support me on Patreon if you can. Even a few bucks a month really, really helps. Now that's all for today. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you soon for more.